Welcome back to this Too Many Bones Undertow instructional series. In this video, we'll be learning the ins, outs, and mechanisms of the mechs. Just like the Krellin in the previous video, these dastardly little robots are only found in Undertow, and they are commonly used on the land side of the battle mat. First off, mechs are bots, therefore they have immunities towards certain types of effects. These include poison, weaken, terrify, stun, bleed, and fatigue. Let's look at an encounter card. Mechs are included in the battle queue whenever they are indicated on an encounter. Just like the Krellin, they can be either added to the battle queue or included in the battle queue. Add means they will be additional to the already figured batty points. Include means that they displace a portion of the batty points. Each mech chip is worth 3 points, so if you have a battle queue of 8 points and you need to include 2 mechs, then you would display 6 of the 8 batty points. This battle would consist of 2 mechs and 2 1 point baddies. Mechs are always placed on the bottom of the batty stack, and every time a mech needs to enter the battle, we will roll the included D6. This time, we rolled a 5, so we will place it on that space in the mech starting position. The mech starting positions are located on the sides of the battle mat and alternate between them, increasing in value. When mechs are placed, they take the lane marker chip along with their health chips and initiative die. If we wanted to place our mech in a space, but that space was already occupied, we would place it in one value up. In our example, we would place the mech swarm at value 6 since value 5 is already taken by Spiderbot 4.0. Let's talk about mech movement. Mechs move like conventional baddies, except that they move through and onto the mech starting positions. They can move through any space on the battle mat, and they also have two movement like any other baddie. If a non-mech baddie is somehow displaced onto a mech starting space, it must use its first move action to move out. It may also remain and attack if it is adjacent to the opposing unit. While on land battles, Gearlocks cannot purposely move onto any mech starting positions, but may be displaced onto one by a skill, like Swap. The Gearlock must move out on its first move action, and cannot move onto another mech starting position. Mechs have a different attribute that is similar to defense, which is called armor. When a mech is displaced, they instantly gain a value in defense dice. Upon placing Spiderbot 4.0, it would immediately gain 2 armor. Now, let's talk about obstacles. These are obstacle chips, and 4 are included in the game. They are on the opposite side of the wreckage chips. Obstacles are inanimate objects that are found in various encounters. They prohibit movement onto or through them, and some may have HP. Baddies do not interact with obstacles. Obstacles that have HP may only be attacked by gearlocks or allies and only using attack dice. If an obstacle has HP and the final health chip is removed, the obstacle is removed as well. If an obstacle starts with no health, then it cannot be removed. Encounters that include obstacles show a graphic on the encounter card, like this. In this example, obstacles are placed in the mech starting positions 1, 2, 5, and 6, and each obstacle has health equal to the size of the party. And that's it for mechs and obstacles. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. If not, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon link below to support the making of these videos.